Oh, they got it. Okay. Arriving at Alpha site. You're clear, strike team. Think you're pretty nice, sir. You have your order, strike team. Investigate the site. Contain the threat. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to the Cosmic Channel. My name is Nick, and I'm here back with another Black Ops Cold War video. Now, I wanted to record this a while ago, like a while ago, like a couple weeks ago, but I had ish. I was having so many issues just with like the game and with like um, my recording and just like all that. Like, I I pre recorded this like three or four times. I crashed like twice. And then, like, a week later, I'm like, okay, I'll give it a week. And then, uh, I recorded again, and it just wasn't right. Something was just wrong. I can't really explain it. But, um, it was just, like, wrong, right? And I don't really know what was going on, but it was just, like, a thing. So then I record it one more time, a couple days later, and I find out my microphone was not plugged in. And after that, I was just like, ugh, because I'd actually recorded about, like, five or six videos for, like, COD and for Minecraft and for whatever, and none of them had audio. And I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, now I'm back doing it again. Hopefully it works this time, but I wanted my first, like, I even did the stupid Easter egg, and then for the first time I clicked, because I really wanted to have it on, um... On um, nope, oh, and I get naughty. Yay. Uh, I really wanted to have it on recording. It's like my first experience doing the Easter egg, right? Especially because I usually don't do the Easter egg solo. I think the only Easter eggs I did solo was World War II. And like, I think I did a couple ones in BO3, but other than that, it was like, I was not a very, ex and I tried to do Origins, but I never could get there. I always kept getting like to the very last step and just not being able to do it. But yeah, I could never, I could never uh, get done. So I finally managed to get it done, and then uh, my mic wasn't on, and I was really upset about that. So now it's not gonna be my first time doing it, which is unfortunate. So whatever. Anyway, so yeah, so I wanted to have this as my first experience, right? My first experience exploring what Treyarch and what what the Call of Duty companies have put together for us for a holiday event, and um, when they announced it, it was really exciting. As you saw, um, the Megaton dressed like Santa Claus came by on some Playcon reindeer and uh, stole the mystery box. And now you have to use what they've added in the game to substitute for the mystery box and um, survive. And so it was a, it's a real concept. They, they said they were, and they did, and they, they decorated the, uh, the map. Um, and they added a couple just festive things just to kind of keep us. Um, maybe like, I think they were trying to keep us like, uh, what's the word? Say, uh, not preserved, but like keep us from not wanting more, right? Cause they didn't, they, they couldn't release another DLC. And it's like, I'm a little upset about that to be honest, because we were supposed to, I, or apparently, I don't know, maybe I'm misinformed, but I'm pretty sure we were supposed to get two maps on launch, you know, one bigger map and then maybe one smaller map like they'd normally do in Call of Duties. I don't know, but then they they didn't. They only released one map, and so we've kind of been like itching for more. Zombies players have been itching for another map, right? We're not gonna get another map until February, so it's kind of like big oofs. But yeah, so this event comes out. Um, we get Holiday Nuke Town, and we get a uh, raid, and we get the mall, and um, we get a double XP weekend, um, and we get this game mode, and it's like this is what zombie players got. Well, the game comes comes out, and all of a sudden. Everything's all like glitchy and, and like messed up. And it's like, what the heck? It's like, okay, fine, whatever. You know, everyone's still working from online, whatever. So I, that's why I said I gave it a week um, to let them fix the bugs. And they did. They fixed pretty much everything within a week. And so, yeah, so we come back in and we're playing this game mode. And honestly, this game mode does add in a few things. But if I'm being completely honest, it's a little underwhelming. Like, it's a little bit underwhelming. Did they, did they uh did they do what they said? Yes, but honestly, somehow by implement this game mode, it's just not as fun to play as playing normal zombies. And we'll get into that in a minute. But what does this what does this add? What does this what did they do for us? Right? 
Like, I thought maybe the snow was new, but no, I'm pretty sure the snow was always there because the ground's covered in snow. Um, so yeah, that, probably, that was probably a thing. But as you can see, they decorated around. Um, oh, that was a snowman, but it exploded. And so there's like a few decorations. I've seen a couple like ball ornaments and some lights. But to be honest, it's like nothing major changed about the map, which I wasn't really expecting it. And to be honest, I wasn't really expecting much from this. But um, yeah, no. And it's like, um, but nothing was like, they, they even like as you get further into the map, you notice less and less decorations. So it's just like, it seems like Spawn was decorated and Noct was decorated a little bit. But then after that, the decorations are honestly pretty like limited. Um, so it's like, it, it, it's okay, and it, it's, it's, I'd rather have it than not, so it's like, honestly, I'd say that's like a plus, but it's not necessarily something that I would say proves that this game mode was like super great. Um, second thing they did, these snowballs, you've noticed, you've probably seen them in my hot bar, basically what you do, you throw a snowball, you shoot the zombie, it drop, it, it has a chance, right, a chance of dropping a present. You move all your zombies away. And then you can go open your present. And you, as you can see, it gave me a weapon. Knife is actually a really good weapon, right? Because it one shots until like round 22 or something. Um, and the weapons are pretty random. It's like it's just like the mystery box, right? Well, yeah. And, and on one hand, this is cool, right? It's just something new, something different, something to give us something different to do right but there's a couple negatives to this first in a big horde like this on early rounds it's not as big of a deal but in a big horde like this it's very difficult you see i throw my snowball and all of a sudden these zombies are getting in the way and then he un he unmelts so it makes it kind of difficult whereas if you have a box you just go up click it run around come back pick it back up done right um so not a big deal it's just like that's just a side effect of the thing but then what was really disappointing and maybe Maybe, uh, you know, um, okay, three more kill I don't know what that said. Um, and maybe, uh, you know, uh, this changed because I, I haven't tested this recently. I only tested this like a week and a half after release, but the mystery box will give you better stuff the later rounds you get on that way you still have a reason to go hit the mystery box later on. You'll get better guns, and you'll get better uh, rarities, right? Well, in this, you almost always get a green rarity, right? It's almost always green rarity. I've seen blue once, but you get to like, I test, I went to like round 30, I was still getting green rarities, and I got one blue rarity, and it's like, I don't know, maybe it's just like, you have to get on even higher rounds, but as snowballs get harder and harder to use, it just seems, completely pointless and it's like it's no substitute for the mystery box so that was just my two cents on that um it was an interesting concept but honestly it's not something i'm gonna keep going back to play i played it once i'm pretty good like i don't there's no reason for me to keep going on it um other than to record this before it because for some reason i couldn't even find my uh my old one without audio um but yeah so, oh yeah something else i forgot to say that you've been noticing is with the reskinning i was gonna make this two separate things but with the reskinning uh yeah so the megaton re is like skinned up like santa claus right um he's skinned up like santa claus he has a hat and then you'll notice all the zombies have hats and the plague hounds are just like reindeer i actually really like how the plane how the reindeer look and the megaton looks pretty good too and i really 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 like the zombie with the zombies with the santa hats i think they look really cool um that's actually a bonus. I, I I like that, and I don't think I have any complaints about that. They even renamed it. You can see it says Nussnacker. Um, I'm pretty sure that means Nutcracker. Uh, the Megaton has a name as well. I can't remember what it is. I'll, I'll bring it up when we see him. All right, really quick, just because I never actually did get to the Megaton part, I decided to exfil early. Um, so yeah, so regular zombies are called Nussnackers, which means is German for Nutcrackers. Plague Hounds become Blitzen Huns, which is which through like a little bit of tinkering I, is German for either lightning dogs or flash dogs. Um, Megatons are called Un-Dead Moros, which is Russian, I believe. Um, and I think that I'm pretty sure that Dead Moros is like their their Santa. Um, it's kind of interesting that they uh, chose like 
him to be Russian and, ev- and like literally everything else in zombies to be German. But um, the Megaton Blaster, which is like one of the one of the halves that splits, can be uh, they're called wreath wraiths. Um, Megaton bombers have become old tannin bombs, and the heavy zombies, the ones with armor, I believe, are called tinsel, like the the thing that you put around like a Christmas tree that has like the little like fluffy flaky things. Anyway, uh, that was it. Every single time I've ever gotten a naughty, it's been reindeer, or it's been the it's been the plague hounds. Every time, it's like that's the only thing that you can get, and it's like, oh, okay. Well, what about the uh, what about the nice? What do you get with the nice? Well, you get a present. Wait, a, but okay, but that's what you got when you used the snowball, right? Yeah. So I'm assuming maybe the presents can also give equipment. Actually, I'm pretty sure they can give equipment. I'm pretty sure I've gotten equipment before. And I'm assuming that means also score streaks. So you can get equipment, self revives, but there's no difference from what I've seen, from what I've played through and what I've tested, that between the uh, between the presents you get from snowballs and the presents you get from the stocking. So the stockings are basically just like a worse snowball, which makes them not special. Oh, here's another one. Nice. All right, sorry about that. Um. All right, and normally I'd probably take that gun, but for now I'm just gonna use this one because I want the XP, and that's maybe the thing, right? It's like you these presents. Not only it's like the presents aren't special, like there's they seem just un. You don't it, they don't feel like anything when you get them. It's not like oh I just got a present. This is so exciting, except for the first time you get one, and it's like okay, um, and it's like you open it and it's like right now honestly I'd rather just keep the gun I have. A, because it has my attachments, and B, even though it's one tier better, it's like, also, what the heck, do they reduce the amount of ammo you get? I swear, you got more ammo before with this gun. No? Same ammo. Okay. I don't know. Um, anyway, so, uh, it's like, it's it's not, it's just like, okay, it's a present. It's not super fulfilling. It's like, I'd rather keep my gun, because it has the attachments that I picked, and because, which have, like, increased drop rate and increased... Um, uh, salvage, like increase equipment drop rate, increase salvage drop rate, um, are the two big ones. And B, because I want to level it up. It's like, yeah, I could level up a different gun, but right now I'm trying to, like, when you're trying to grind for camos and stuff, I'd rather just keep this gun. And with Mr. Box, it's different. By the time I'm hitting Mr. Box, I'll usually wait till around 20 to hit the Mr. Box, just because it'll give me way better weapons. Um, and then I'll actually keep the weapons because by round 20, uh, the XP rates have already like been messed up anyway. Which is another thing, like why the heck, what the heck is up with like uh, Call of Duty and their messed up XP rates these past couple years, especially this year. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so um, the stockings are they're a really really cool concept. If they just did a little bit more with them, it would be. Um, it would be really, really cool, and I would actually like probably play this a lot more, right? So then, what's the third and, and final thing that they've added? Well, um, the last thing that they added was snowmen. And snowmen, one of two things is gonna happen with them. Uh, they'll actually they're gonna spawn a zombie, or they're going to drop, or you can shoot them if they don't like break into a zombie, and they'll drop a present. Well, okay, a present. Again, like, presents aren't... Mess- we've established that presents aren't exactly the most exciting thing in the world. But let's go, uh... Let's go break a snowman. I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so, like, you can see in here. Like, there's piles of snowballs that you can pick up. And zombies will drop snowballs. At, like, just like any other equipment. But you can see in here. Like, there's not really that much. Here's a snowman. So, that, as you can see, that's what it looks like when they break into zombie. Which is really cool, actually, that they do that. Because you can use that to get extra zombies, uh, which means extra points and stuff. I can see like all sorts of Easter egg strategies with that, right? Um, and we'll get back to that in a second. But yeah, you can see like in here, there's like almost nothing for decorations. Like the spawn was decorated, that was about it. And we'll come back in here when the power turned on, but it's very hard to like see much. But um, yeah. Anyway, so like you can see, there's a ball, but. Um, not much is going on. Anyway, 
So, what was that? Oh, it was snubbles. Um, same thing out here, you can see. Not much has been done. There's not even that much lights. There's lights up there at the top of Noct. But when it comes to like, the other walls and stuff... Dang, I was trying to break that one. Um, that's pretty much what we got here. Alright, so that's what it looks like when they drop a present. And, um, may again, maybe I'm just getting really unlucky. But, what the heck is this? The XM4. Oh, it's just not loaded. Okay. Um, but every single time you get a... See, that's how I got a blue gun. Um, but almost every time you get a green gun. And it's like, it seems like the higher the rounds. And we'll test this right now. Maybe I'll be completely wrong. And I'll be really surprised. Um, but it seems like every single time I get a green gun. And rarely do I get a blue gun. That's the second blue gun I've ever gotten. I'm pretty sure it's blue. Yeah. But anyway. So, um... When it comes to the snow, or when it comes to the snowman, and the Easter egg things, I think that that's really cool, and that could have been a really cool strat, and it could have been like an, a, a different opportunity to um, explore these Easter egg, like Easter eggs, right, and, and do different strategies. Maybe some new world records could be found. Um, but it's like that's it, and so um, yeah, I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna go down there, by the way, because uh, here's here's the here's the thing: is it's like that's it. Those three things. That was all that is. And like, there's a few decorations, and you'll see like a few more decorations if you go down there. But for the most part, that's all that this event has to offer. There's no reason to keep going, um, other than just to play normal zombies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna exfil. But anyway, so yeah, so it's like the snowmen aren't necessarily the most exciting thing. They're basically just like a worse snowball. This knocking's also like a worse snowball. It's not the snowball. So it's like... I mean, the snowman would be cool because they're like zombies that you can spawn whenever you want. Right? I could always just come up to this, get a new zombie. Um, whereas the snowballs... Or, uh, whereas like zombies, you know, they have like all sorts of despawning issues and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. But when you're just playing normal zombies, it's not really that useful. Actually, I'm gonna go get my gun and, and upgrade that. I level up that. But, um. Okay, can you stop yapping? Thank you. Okay. But, yeah, so it's like. That's pretty much all there is in this mode. So, it's this. I'm glad they did something. It's really cool they did something. They didn't have to do anything. But, if, if they're trying to score points with, like, the community, show that they're, that they're doing something, that they, they care about us, it's like. They did. They took a step, and I'm happy they did. And it, it's it's pretty good. But when it comes to like, okay, I cannot find for my life one of those boxes in this area. I don't know why there isn't um, one of those. One of those. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Um. But yeah, if they're trying to score points with the community for like bonus bonuses, there's no reason for me to come and play this more than once or twice. I thought about doing, like, a, a originally when this came out, I was so excited. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a special Easter egg run. I'm going to do a, uh, um, like, a, a spawn room challenge. I'm going to do a knock survival challenge. Uh, like, all the normal things. I wanted to do all the normal things I was going to do in this game mode and see how it differed. Well, I don't have to do that. I know right now it's going to be pretty much the same. I tried to go for, like, around 30, around 40 and it didn't change my gameplay, other than the fact that my guns were crap. It's like that's not necessarily, um, that's not necessarily what I, you know, want. I don't want to just play a game where my guns are worse. That doesn't seem like it makes sense. Um. So yeah, I'm actually going to take them down here, down here and then I'm going to start the exfil. Um, it doesn't seem like there's a reason to play this, is, is I guess what I'm trying to say. It's like, it's cool. The con All the concepts were really cool, but there's no reason to can play this. In fact, they disabled all the Easter eggs. They disabled all the Easter eggs. Why would they disable all the Easter eggs? Again, they might have changed it. I tested this like a week and a half after release. So they could have changed it. But, I don't think so. It's like, I don't understand. It's like, there's no reason to come do this. It's like, there's... 
saving the easter eggs and zombies oh okay please don't kill me um literally disables like half the things to do in zombies not to mention there's still this glitch it happened with uh with uh my round 10 exfil before but there's still a glitch where half the time when i exfil i'm trying to wait because i'm trying to see if that helps but i still it still happens to me half the times when i do this round 10 exfil um we are ready to be extracted. Understand. you know it's like one on route to alpha site. oh i didn't i didn't pick anything device. this is gonna be a hard exfil actually uh half the time when i exfil i don't get my ethereum crystal it's like why don't i get my ethereum crystal what is up with that? That is just like weird and messed up. Okay. Yeah, I can already tell this is gonna be horrible and hard. Um. So yeah. So it's like. I don't. I don't know what's going on. This. This event started out. It was super buggy, super glitchy, which is kind of like what we're expecting. It's like a recurring theme. I I can chalk that up to pretty much whatever, their working environment, right? Between COVID, between whatever other problems are, are going on. Um, I think I'm actually going to fail this XFL. Oh, geez, okay. Um, they're having issues, and it's like, that's fine. I can actually accept that. But when it comes to the actual content, okay. These guys are annoying. Um, when it comes to the actual content, uh, the content is lackluster in this in this in this uh, event. Okay, please don't kill me. And I swear they're making zombies harder and harder. Is that really an armor guy? Yep, I just failed. <sighs> Couldn't kill him fast enough. Anyway, so the content is severely lackluster in this they they brought content to the store and honestly it's like yeah i've bought like one or two things specifically because like for example i bought the the uh what's his face the um uh, the guy he has red coat and he has a pair of a scream of sticks on his back that that's purely because that's like part of my life um you know it's like that's that's part of who I am. That's the only reason why um, I got him. This, this, oh, it's, it's, why is my guy even like this? I don't, or maybe I was doing a challenge, actually, that's why, that might be why. Yeah, I was. This guy, um, Garcia. Hello, thank you. This guy with the sticks on his back. It's like, that's part of, like, my life. That's the only reason why I have him. But it's like, you'll notice it's like, I don't have anybody else okay i'm not gonna show you all of them just because they're taking forever to load but um it's like I'll, I'll play you what was going on in the beginning right it's like or uh but it's like there's they didn't add anything store content eh. um game content it's like well they added raid which is cool again it's a map we've already played and mall which i really like mall it's just a little bit big it's like miami it's just a little bit big for um 66 game modes they added Jingle Hells, which I've never played. Like, I've literally never even played the public one before, just because I've there's no reason to play it more than once. I've played it, like, I've played it, like, three times now. My experience has been the same. It's, like, it's just like playing regular zombies, except, honestly, worse. It's, like, between the no Easter eggs, it, uh, the, uh, worst version of a mystery box, and just worse guns. It's, like, there's no reason for me to play this game mode. It's, it's literally worse. It feels worse to play than the, than the old one, but exactly like it. It's just like a worse version of what we already have, and it's and the map's not even really a reskin. Like if 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 at least if they had decorated it more, it would be like okay, I can play this map to get they to get to get like the festive feeling, right? But it's not. It's like I'm happy they did something, and I and I like the concepts that they implemented. I just wish that it was maybe just a little bit more developed. Anyway, so that's kind of like my experience with this. Anyway. That was it for this video. I'm sorry it's like not really on time and all that, but um, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. If you liked it, leave a like. Tell me what you liked about it. If you didn't like it, tell me what you didn't like about it. And if you like my content, subscribe, and I'll be posting some more videos. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.